Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the good and the bad of a really nice Silver Age collection that I bought. It was two collections ago, and I processed a lot of the Silver Age stuff, some of the Bronze Age keys, and now I've got a stack, pretty much a short box full of books that are keys that are great books. I just don't know what to do with them because of the condition. So hopefully you guys are ready. Hopefully you're excited. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortbox app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below to download the app and start shopping or selling today. So recently I bought a collection, it was $1,500 and I got some great keys. I've been showing them off in the top five books that I would buy right now videos, like the foundational comic books. I got Swamp Thing, number one, as you can see, it's a little bit lower grade, but it's still, you know, maybe about that 2.5 um, grade range. I also got this, which is about a 2.0, Fantastic Four, number 48. This one's a little bit nicer, maybe a 4.0 to 5 Ghost Rider number one. Also in that four to five range, I got this Iron Man number one, big premiere issue. It's the first time I've ever owned this book and I'm really excited about it. Really excited to have that one. Silver Surfer number three, very excited to have another copy of this book. First appearance of Mephisto. And then another example of a book that I got out of there was Iron Man and Submariner, number one is a one shot. There's a little bit of issue going down here, but enough, you know, uh, good enough condition that I wanted to add it to the collection. Now I've got a short box of books that I, I didn't even bag and board for the longest time. And I ended up just putting them into regular poly with a single backing board. Usually I use multiple backing boards and mylar. And so I've got this I've got a short box. I pulled out an example of, you know, what's in this. And I wanted to show you guys what books there are. So the first one up is Strange Tales number 103. And as you can see, like the spine is just roached out. The bottom has a ton of chips out of it. That's a really nice example. The staple is a little bit rusty there. I think it the top staple's fine. The bottom staple is the one that's roached out. But I'm sure this is like complete spine split. Maybe maybe it's hanging on by a thread like right here. But yeah, Strange Tales 103. It's like, what do I do with this? What do I do with this lot? I, I don't I feel bad selling these. They're too low grade to sell. And I never want to throw away comic books. I have actually had to throw away some of the comic books that were in this lot just due to you know, issue condition issues or whatever. Strange Tales 128. Also, once again, just completely blown out spine, water damage up there by the STR. Presents halfway decent, but it is blown down. And there's some like wax or something right here. I don't know how that stuff gets on comic books, but craziness. This has always been a great issue. Strange Tales 130, really, really cool issue. Completely blown out spine, piece hanging off there. A lot of these ones I'd have to like manipulate to look good while they're in the bag and board because they'd be hanging off, you know, the cover would be hanging off or whatnot. So these are definitely like 0.5s to 1.0s. Some of them look a little bit better, but I, I, I wouldn't grade them better than like a 1.0, 1.5 at the greatest. This one is Strange Tales 131. And there's just a whole short box of these books over there. So I just pulled out the kind of cooler ones, the keys, the ones that I would, you know, would have loved to have these in better condition. Strange Tales 134. And this one does not have a back cover. It's like, what do you do with these? Do I just put them in storage to die? Do I sell them as a lot to someone who's like, I don't care about condition, I just want the issues? I don't know. Strange Tales 138. What would you do if you bought a, a low grade Silver Age lot? So I bought I bought the entire collection for 1500 bucks. And for the most part, it's great. Big old tear out right there. Don't know how that got torn out. 
some chipping here, there, cut out at the top. I feel like that's like what they did to signify that these were like remainder copies or didn't sell. So maybe that was like the way that they discounted the books, was just took a razor blade to the corner. Maybe that was like half off. Spine is just completely torn up. This one hurts really bad. So I saw this one and I knew instantly that this was just torn up. But they're fine. I mean, you can handle them in there, uh, in, in the poly bags. And, but look at the top is just blown out. Cover is dirty as heck. There's a piece blown out right here. What do you do with these books? Corners blown out. Nasty. This one's pretty cool. I uh, was happy to find this one. This is Tales of Suspense 56, I believe. The first appearance of Hawkeye. Coverless. Complete, but coverless. So first appearance of Hawkeye. Coverless. It's got that remainder type issue there. And this was owned by Larry Ayers. So what do you do with this book? Pretty cool. I've never owned the first appearance of Hawkeye. This one's crazy. Crazy blown out X-Men number seven. I mean, these are ones that you would like see grade and be like the lowest grade ever. This is the worst copy in existence. But I mean, that front page, that front cover image is there. Just completely nasty at the top. Blown out spine. Completely spine split. Complete X-Men number 7. 0 0.5. Saying it is nasty. What do you do with this? What do you do with this? X-Men number 13. Second appearance of Juggernaut. The first appearance of Juggernaut is in this and it's incomplete. Like some of the pages are just hanging out. It's It's crazy. X-Men number 13. But I, I did put that one into Mylar because the cover looks really nice, actually. This one's heartbreaking. X-Men number 14. Completely torn off right there. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Boom. Multiple pages just torn up. Right there. First appearance of the Sentinels. I believe this is complete. When I bagged and boarded these, I didn't even look to see about completeness on a lot of them just because I think they were so blown out. First appearance of Lucifer X-Men number 20, blown out bottom corner there, blown out top corner there, blown out spine right here, craziness. It is connected and attached, crazy, crazy X-Men number 20. And here's the last one I'll show just as an example, comment down below what you guys would do. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button. I'll tell you what, when I'm out hunting, I'm not going to discriminate between high grade and low grade. If there's a collection for sale, I'm going to evaluate the collection and I'm going to see if there, if it's worth buying for 1500 bucks, it was definitely worth buying, especially for these keys. I mean, these were fantastic keys. You saw them at the beginning. Um, X-Men number 33. So you get the good and you get the bad with the good. Completely blown out top corner. Spine is pretty bad. What do you do? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you do with a collection like this? There's more of these. They're just sitting over there. I'm going to put them into storage for now. Do I sell them as a lot? How do I value these? Because some of those are pretty good keys. I mean, is this worth five bucks? Is it worth two bucks? Would you touch it for a dollar? Some people would be like, I wouldn't even touch that thing for a dollar. Would you touch it for, you know, is this a $10 book? I have no clue. You know, is this a $10 book? No idea. Is this a $2 book? Is it a $5 book? Who knows? Like, what what would you guys do with this stuff? If you buy collections, if you've sold collections before, I don't necessarily want these for my collection. I want this stuff. I'm going to keep this stuff but I don't know if I want that stuff. So let me know what you would do in the comments down below. If you're brand new, once again, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. Also hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.